What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Richard and this is Slasher and Collectibles. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Terrifier 1-6 scale figure from Trick or Treat Studios. This is the Selfie Murder Edition. I also did a version of the regular edition so if you guys want to check that out I'll go ahead and put the link right up here and you guys can take a look at that one. Today we're just going to be comparing the two and kind of see the differences between the Murder Edition and the Normal Edition. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at price points and all right guys so i got my figure straight from the trick-or-treat studios website if you guys are interested in picking this up it is still available to pick up so if you guys want to go ahead and jump on it before they sell out um so this one right here is coming in at 149.99 this is going to be your uh the selfie murder edition i also have the original one that pulled up just for a quick refresher that this one came in at 129.99 so you're looking at a $20 difference for the Murder Edition. Main difference on this one is that you have all this blood effect throughout the entire, uh, throughout his entire clothing and all over his head. So to me, it looks pretty cool. I don't know which one you guys like, but I decided to go with both just because I like the clean version and I definitely like the uh, bloody version as well. So they also say that this one is an exclusive and limited edition. So right here it says, get your official Art the Clown limited edition selfie murder edition figure now. So I am not sure how limited this figure is. I try to reach out to them and see um, on YouTube and their social media to see how many this is actually limited to, but I did not get a response back. This one is exclusive as well to the Trick or Treat Studios website. So if you want the, the murder edition, you're gonna have to come here to pick it up. Uh, I wish they would have released the limited edition mount that they actually have on it. I'm going to keep trying to see if I can get a count on how many they're actually making. And if I can figure that out, I'll let you guys know as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the unboxing and the review. And then we'll go ahead and compare the two figures as well. Here we have the box for the Terrifier Art the Clown Selfie Murder Edition. This is pretty much the same box that you get with a regular edition. The only main difference here is going to be that you have this Selfie Murder Edition sticker that's right here on the box. So on the front, you have... Uh, an image of Art the Clown and you have the Terrifier logo here at the top with the Trick or Treat Studios logo here at the bottom. And then on the side you have the Terrifier logo, same thing with the Trick or Treat Studios logo on the bottom. And the other side is going to be exactly the same as the other one. And then on the back you have the reddish colored tone with it with Art the Clown right here and Terrifier in white. So this is a reverse flip of the front of the box where you get the, the red on the white. This one's going to be the white on the red. And then this is a flip open style box. So when, once you flip it open, you do have uh, an image of Art the Clown with all his bloody goodness. And you have another image right here with the red and the black on, on the inside. So just for comparison, guys, if you guys can see right here, this is gonna be your Selfie Murder Edition box. And this is the original one that it comes with. Again, there is pretty much no difference between the two, except for the, uh, the sticker right there at the bottom. And then it'll be the same thing with the back. Everything is pretty much the same. There's no other indication that this is the Selfie Murder Edition. The only difference that you're going to see is going to be this. So I'm going to go ahead and unpack this and we'll take a look at the figure. And then we'll also compare the original one with the Selfie Murder Edition version. All right, so here is everything laid out with the Selfie Murder Edition. As you guys can see, he comes with the exact same stuff as the original one. If you guys didn't watch my review on the original one, go ahead and check it out. And you get we can do a comparison on both of them. But you can see the differences between the two. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. The first thing you're going to get is the saw. This is going to be the same exact saw that came with the original edition. Nothing too much to talk about here. If you guys watch the movie, you guys know what this is from. Uh, paint applications look pretty good and the saw blade looks pretty nice as well. You do get two sets of hands. The first one that we're going to take a look at is going to be the uh, bloody hand with a scalpel. So this scalpel is uh, connected to this hand. You cannot remove it. Same thing with the original edition. It is uh, stuck right in there. Um, I don't mind it just because I like the po the way that the hand is posed. So I actually have mine displayed with this on and it looks great. So there's nothing too much more about this one. And then you also get this hand right here that's going to hold that saw. You can see you have the blood applications on the front there and then pretty good sculpting there on the bottom of the glove. As for the actual figure, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the face here. You can see that uh, this is going to be the same head sculpt that you get with the original one. Uh, one thing that kind of uh, I don't like about it is that it does have a very shiny look to it. 
Um, so mine, I'm going to actually do a custom paint, just making it a little bit more matte. And then this is all one sculpted piece. So this is not removable here. It is sculpted into the face. And then you also have the head, the head that's sculpted right there on the hat. As for the blood, you guys can see this is a very bloody version of it. Um, the blood to me, I, I'm not, I'm not really happy with the way the blood looks. It's very shiny and very, it looks paint like. I've seen some other figures where the blood looks fantastic, and um, this one is just not on par for me. So what I'm going to do is probably do a um, a custom paint job on this, just make the blood look a little bit more bloody. Uh, right now, it just looks like red paint splattered all over the character. As for the outfit, the tailoring on this thing is pretty great. Uh, I enjoy the one that it looks like on uh, the first one as well. All right, so the material on this thing is okay. Um, same material that you get with the first one. You do get, uh, the tailoring on this thing is pretty nice. You guys can see that there is some overlap here with the, the actual outfit. Uh, doesn't bother me too much just cause this is a pretty cheap price point. So it's not like a hot toys style tailoring where you're going to get very, very detailed tailoring. Um, the body on these things are pretty flimsy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, when I did my first review, it wasn't too much. It didn't bother me too much. But after I started getting into the posing sections, he was a little bit hard to pose just because he kept falling out of the different um, different poses that I put him in. So you, the joints are a little bit loose. Say if I lift this guy's leg up, it's just going to fall right down. So the joints aren't the best. It does stay, but any little movement like that, like I just barely move it and it falls down. Uh, articulation, there's going to be no restrictions, but again, you guys, it is a little bit of loose joints. Um, but if you have them just displayed, you're not going to be able to tell, so it's not, doesn't bother me too much. As for the blood on this thing, uh, the blood on the outfit doesn't look too bad. I like it a lot better than I like how the face looks, just because, like I said, the face is very shiny and it's very paint-like, where this one is, um, almost feels just imprinted on there, but you do get like a darker, darker blood to it, which looks a little bit better. So I also have the original version here as well. So this is going to be the, the main difference. Everything is pretty much the same except for the blood on this guy. So as you guys can see, this is going to be your clean version. And then this one is definitely covered in blood. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pose this guy up. We'll see what they look like together and uh, see what we can get out of it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the review on the Terrifier 160L Art the Clown figure from Trick or Treat Studios. I think they are both phenomenal pieces. You can't go wrong with either one of them. 
just kind of personal preference on which one you actually want to pick up. If you guys are going to be picking one of these up, please let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to get the murder edition or if you guys are planning on getting the regular. Thank you guys again so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video.